Cheers. Hey, everybody. What's happening? How goes it? Welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of Booze and Bugs. And today's booze part of it is... Oh, by the way, I gotta make a couple comments. We know it's Friday. They're supposed to be on Thursday. We might have to restamp it for Friday. Yeah. I got a little clever idea I'm thinking about in doing it on the intro that you guys are gonna like. So you might have to go back to the trailer and check it out when I make the change. I think I just came up with a clever idea. What happened is now we use old video footage of Thai videos because we covered so many flies and over and over I think I did four videos of Rainbow Warrior five videos of the way SOB this way it brings them time videos back to you guys that haven't been around right and we can show you f catch a fish on that fly so it's a win-win you know and I don't have to keep doing the videos over and over so we went back to upload an old video for the time part and and went uploading they wouldn't no. give it to me. I would upload and I could watch it, but I couldn't put it in the video editor. So I finally got to work on a different computer. So Thank goodness. Yeah, so many computers. Trial and error, you know, our technical difficulties, you know how that goes. So welcome to Booze and Bugs. Today's Booze and Bugs is the Slate Drake. Um, we are doing, a, I think it's a Caparadon. It's either Caparadon or Sparkle Done. Slate Drake. Right. We just started popping the other day. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, the more f the fish footage that I come in, the later this is going to come out. So if it's really late, that's because I had to go through lots of fish oh, footage. Yeah. It was so action packed the other day. We but anyway, Tracy is doing. Tell them what you're drinking there, baby. What's this stuff called? I feel If you guys, called? men, want a shot for your women, or, you know, maybe you don't. I don't drink. You know, I do things different. Oh, we're like, I don't drink beer. Too. I drink whiskey on the rocks. Or I drink hard liquor on the rocks. Or a Tommy Collins, which is almost all liquor with a little bit of lime and lemon added. Which you'll see me drink a lot. So it's basically straight alcohol. I don't drink that. I can't do the beer. It gets my stomach ache and I'll get drunk. So, but anyway, we are do I am doing a Jaeger bomb, which is Red Bull. Jaeger and you put a little Jaeger in a shot glass put that in the middle and fill the rest of the way around the shot glass with your Red Bull and it's called Jaeger Bomb and, and Tracy, I forget what this stuff is it's tequila rosa they Rip. make it in oh put that down they make it strawberry it down right now ripple okay it's crazy yeah, she, she's, she's the bar cat. Right she's now. the bar cat. She doesn't want to leave the bar. And there's too much stuff up there. I right mean, now. she. I, I built this bar, and she don't want to leave the bar so bad. I had to move her food dish and her. Uh, her everything's in this bar. It's nuts. All right. Anyway, she's the bar cat. All she right. Anyway, back to our our drink. So cheers to y'all. Cheers. And if you guys ever think of a drink that you want me to drink for uh, booze and bugs, let me know, and I'll do a drink for it. Here we go, guys. And we have most alcohol to make any drink, so here's the thing. What do we do? You don't see some of them, like you see this gap right here. That's because them bottles are out there in the bar, out in the kitchen. But, um, right now I have a pina colada. Another thing I'm going to do is a drink soon that I love that makes you can drink all day long. Um, some of them drinks I got them to come, but okay. Anyway, let's get to the time. Let's go. Start this fly with a size 8 dry fly hook in black thread. Or you can use a light thread. Hooks and everything fly fishing where we tie flies to catch fish, not only to catch fishermen. And very important if you do this, as soon as you're watch, done watching this video, click the link right below and go watch Tracy's live stream tonight at 420. Okay? Go do that. Thank you. It's your homework. Get it done. Need your support. Now we're gonna put we put our gear here in a stacker, lined up the tip. We're gonna tie that in the length of the shank of the hook. And we tend to use the darker gear here if you can. And use a lighter later on for softers and stuff. But use a darker deer hair, put in deer hair stacker. And if you want to see a video on how to use a deer hair stacker, just let me know in the comments below. 
on the face. I, if you notice, I keep that the back or the back of the hook or the bend of the hook. I keep that pinched so that it don't flare out. And I'll go put a lot of wrap to keep that pinched down. When I cut off, you want to kind of keep your scissors level with the, uh, um, the hook, shank of the hook. And then when you cut, that'll make it tapered. Okay, now we're tying the tail. Well, the sparkle bar is fucking tight. Kind of but anyway, we're tying the tail, same length of the shank of the hook, and it's going to look like a shuck. That's kind of what we tie this in for. Shuck dragging behind is attached. Now, you have a couple options at this point. You can do what old Joe Humphreys used to do and put cotton on them. Then you fill them with cotton, you fill them with thread, or you can just fill them with your dubbing. Whatever choice you do, but you. You want to type of the body now. Now, you want to use the same dubbing you would use on an ad. Gray is blue dubbing. And you want to add that. You want to add it right up to the wing. And then you want to dub it all the way up to the eye. So you want that dubbing to go, because you don't want that thread sticking out from underneath. You want the dubbing to go all the way up to the when you turn it upside down, you should be able to see the dubbing all the way up to the eye of the hook. I tie these pair of duns a little different, or sparkle duns a little different. I do the, I don't tie the wing in and push it back and do all that until after I dub it up to the wing because it seems if you push it back, the wing gets in the way when you're tying the dubbing. So I run the dubbing up. Then you want to push it back with thread wraps in front of it, push it back with your thumb so it fans out half a moon style when you look in the front of it. And then add thread wraps and then wrap the dubbing up to the eye of the hook. That's how you do all that, as you can see in the video. Hey, how'd you guys like that time video? Pretty easy, pretty basic, pretty quick. Um, so that was just the way they sit, the compared duns. Um, sit down in the water. I've been fishing mostly. I was still going to do some time video, time videos, cat skills. Oh, we got some time videos coming. I know. This is just, I wanted to make sure that I could do this every week. So I get you one every week. So every Thursday you'll be here for a booze and bugs, okay?
Even if we don't have the fishing part, we'll do something else to make up for that, okay? But every set, every Thursday, Thursdays, be here for booze and bugs. Okay. So now, let's get... We had a lot of... Wait till you guys see all the action we had on these oh, dry yeah. fly. Lots they were real on the freaking uh, slate drinks. All right, man. Stay hydrated. Let's go it's fishing. hot out. Let's go fishing. Look, look how fat it is. Camera. Wow. I can't get that to bite that big old pair of done. Is that you or a fish? There's that sulfur or something. Oh, fish on. This might be a sucker or something. Yeah, chub. Yeah, fish on. <laughs> so is it a chub or is it a trout? That feels like a nice fish. Honest with you. Hope. All right, let's get a look at it. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. That's just another stocky, but look how not fat it is. Now that might not be a stocky. That might not be a stocky. That That's pretty red. I think I got enough fish for that boot this episode of Booze and Bugs with the Greg Faradun. Yes, I hope you guys liked that video, man. That was a lot of fishing action, wasn't there? A lot of Oh, action. yeah. And we forgot to mention, when we first got to the creek, we seen a, a beautiful bald eagle flying yeah, over. Yeah, we didn't have the camera. I we was so mad. Camera. I mean, it, it was. It would have been a beautiful shot. It would have been. It would have been a... I could have sold that video footage, Oh, man. yeah. It was I mean, gorgeous. Yeah, he was right down along the creek. I'd really, off like, draw his attention quick, because it was just, like, a split second. There it was, flying right out of the creek. We're bound and determined to get one of them. We have them where we go fishing a lot, like up at Pine Creek. We have them here at Penn's Creek. One of these but, days. Uh, anyway, so one of these days we're gonna get one a magnificent shot of one of them eagles. Um, one of these days I'll include. I got a really good freaking pictures of a uh, hawk when I first bought my camera. And I don't know why, but that red tail hawk was like a, a poser, man. You should see some of the shots I got of this red tail hawk. Maybe I'll include his beef footage. One of these. Yeah. Bees and bugs. But anyway. Maybe I'll include it in this one. Who knows? All right. Well, that's it. If it was in here, it was in here. If not, all right. 
So I hope you guys liked that video. That was episode two, of season two. The gray, Caparadon, and that was the action we had. So keep your lines wet. Out of the trees. And only give them fish a sore lip. Unless you're hungry for some dinner. Just don't kill them wilds. You guys have a good day. Peace. Bye-bye.